and we want to create a kind of transition between two phases, two varied phases. And uh, in here, we have an option that we can control the amount of effect like this. And in here, you can see I can control the amount of effect in here. And it's very good for this effect. Okay, now I want to animate that and select this, go to this frame and change that to 100, okay? Once I change to 100, it's like that, and uh, go to phase one, you press U, and change this interpolation to easy ease, okay? To a kind of smooth animation. Let's uh, go in here, and for the second image, I want to hire the transparency of that and uh, make it 100, or it's 100. We want to keyframe it from this point to this point, okay? And make it zero and go to you and change this to easy ease and put it in here above of it match the uh, keyframes and also in here match this and now we want to create a transparency keyframe animation and go in here and make the transparency of the second image uh, 100, like this. Very good effect. Maybe some a little bit tweaking to the, uh, like this, and uh, very nice. Okay, and now you see a very good moving effect, like this in here, maybe a little bit uh, sooner. Very nice. And, uh, you can tweak it a little bit more, and let's take a look. It's very nice, very good, and uh, let's uh, pre-compose that. Uh, Liar, pre-compose, and click OK. Let's create a text in here. Think different, or any other text that you want. And uh, make it like this, it's not good, maybe this font is a little bit good, bolder than that. Okay. Now let's animate that. Go to fixed and also in animate, create a keyframe to opacity and zero that. Go to range selector and animate the starting point like this. Okay, and now go to in here, this and make it easy has a final touch, go to pre-compose and uh, also go to scale of the control, make it a little bit zoom and also keyframe to here and change to yeah, maybe like this or a little bit higher, it's good. Okay, and also I want to mask out the edges of these kind of stroke in here from this phase one and go to mask, I create a mask in here like this and let's go to, yeah, it's good. And now I can just create that kind of mask for the second image. Also you can do it uh, while you create your image on Photoshop, but in here you can also do that. When it goes in here, create for phase one, uh, transparency and fade it off. Now let's take a look. Okay, like this. You see a very good morphing effect uh, with belt and tools of After Effects. I hope this course was helpful for you and see you next time.